I'm working on the border violence monitoring. Uh, I take the violence reports from people who was pushed back from Croatia to, to Bosnia uh, and the people who arrive in Velika Kladusha. People are traumatized by this, uh, this way, not beca just because of the beaten, because police take pleasure of what they are doing, police uh, love for them, police um, torture them psychologically, um, police destroy the phone, steal the money, um, we try to denounce that because all the pushback are illegals, even if there is no violence. And moreover, the violence is hum on the human rights illegal. So we try to denounce that and to have an impact on, on the European laws. The most prominent practices is to, to catch people, to bring them in a police station in a cell, to wait a few hours to have more people to bring them in a border and at this border there is around a team of 10 policemen uh, I would say 90% of the cases wearing black clothes and sky mask with baton and you have a, you have a kind you can have a, a schema of this uh, you have the van here uh, with the doors here and you have policemen um, around 10 who are in uh, two lines and one of them open the doors and one by one they have to go back to cross the border who imagine here and all this way when people are trying to go back in Velika um, one policeman give them um, a punch with the, with the baton so you have six policemen around six policemen who are just there is no reason. They they are pushed back, they open the door and they have to cross the border because they are pushed back and just six policemen have nothing more better to do to wait them when they are and to beat them. And more of time is during the night and 99% of the person I meet uh, express me that uh, one policeman is at the end of this path with a light to dazzle them during the they cross this policemen policeman way and after they are pushed back on the border and they walk uh, during the night in, without any phones or any maps to reach Velika Kladusha um, that to me is the most uh, common way of pushback each person have a different story about the pushback um, sometimes they meet um, cool policemen as they said because just this policeman um, give them a cigarette, so that's the the example of kindness they can they can receive during a pushback. But behind of this, four hours later they will be hit by the same policeman who gave them cigarettes. So yeah, you you have different way, but I think it's more more and more organized. Um, the pushback and the police, there they is less and less personal violence initiative. They, it's order from the hierarchy who arrive and the, the aim is to, to close the border and to impeach all people to cross and to go in the European Union, of course. I think uh, the, uh, the strategical experience is to scare Mm, people to put on the brain you can't you never can cross uh, this border you never can reach Europe Europe is not for us you are just animals you go back on your country we don't want to you on European we don't want to you in Croatia you have nothing to mean here so leave the fact is that European Union give money to Croatia to have a uh, high technology to to find people they put uh, cameras on the wood to see the move which is inside they had a um i don't know the name but uh, infra infrared uh, um to catch people during the night they have um training uh, milis just to catch migrants um and it's the it the they have dogs also uh dogs to to create the fear dogs to 
yeah, to create the fear and more and more and more all times a uh, solution to impeach them to to cross this border. When police catch people, the first thing they ask is always money, 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 money. They ask for money. When they found uh, funds, they the good funds they put on the pocket, and the bad fund they destroy. They destroy in front of, and there is also psychological psychological um, impact because there is funds that they doesn't want. They just destroy the connector or the and the camera, and they give back to people. So they have five hours again to use their phone, and to to find back their way or so to come back when they are pushed back and after the, the phone is unuseful. Um, you have these psychological um, destroyments because police are laughing on them, police are, um, are playing with them, they they push them, their they people are... Um, you know, you have a circle of police, we, you have one guy in, and one guy arrive, beat him, bring to the other, push him to the other, they are playing like if it was a ball. And and you can you can support the the treatment on your body, you can support the violence, the real violence. But to me, when you are treated like if you wasn't human, when you live in in human condition your psychological start to be destroyed and it's something even when you reach Europe can't be repaired. Yeah, people. I mean, we meet people who was pushed back on days. Uh, it's not difficult to see them because they have marks on the face, or they just don't have uh, clothes or a lot of mud on the clothes. And so, I, uh, if they don't come to see me, I go to see them. So first things I do is that I bring them food and clothes because they don't have to wait. Uh, that I take a report to have their food and their clothes. It's not a condition. And then when I bring them, I, ex I explain very, um, I take time to explain what is that, how it's important to denounce uh, their treatment, to denounce the illegality of the pushback. Uh, I meet them in a confident place, like a coffee or when there is no, nobody who will can disturb us. And I start to record what is, um, what is happening. I ask some questions at first, uh, how many you was on your group, what nationality, the ages, and I start saying, okay, now where you was when the police saw you? So they pin, they pin on the map approximately where they was. Okay, what happened when police saw you? And now they at this point they start to explain the story. Sometimes it's a bit confused because some of them had 10 pushback, seven pushback. So they sometimes they confuse between which pushback was. So there is a walk to distinguish the exaggerations to the truth. It's not about to denounce the violence. The first aim is to denounce uh, the illegality and what police is doing. So I, there is a work to notice which kind of police it was. Um, yeah. And after um, I finished the record, and uh, we took time to discuss, uh, because I don't like to, to say, okay, the record is finished, now I will leave, because they stay with this story and sometimes it reminds them bad memories. So some of them start to cry or some of them need to speak about their previous life. To, um, to me, there is an idea to demonstrate that they are not just immigrants. So they explained to me that they are they were they was working in laboratory in Morocco, there was a teacher in Algeria, there there, there was students in uh, in Pakistani there. So yeah, which uh, I take time to discuss with them after to um, to repair what we discussed during one hour about the the traumatized. This violence uh, is kind of banalized uh, to them and they don't have to reproduce it later. So my friend, what happened to you shouldn't happen. Okay, it's happened to you because you are in a difficult trip now, but in one year, two years or one month, it will be finished for you. So please don't start to, to think it's normal for you and it's um, and this violence exists everywhere. We are with you, we are helping you, and yeah, you are not alone. That's to me the last message we can say to him, to them.